Hello boys and girls, welcome to part 2 of the ice racing car budget build. Here we are with uh, Luke today and we obtained some control arms. How much were these? Uh, 200. 200 and I got it from Parker and uh, later on I will give you information I think we should uh, prop the guy. He's a, he's a really cool guy. He gets a lot of uh, Subarus and he parts them out and build, builds them, fixes them, so. All right, so what we got, we got control arms from an STI, 05? 05. 05 STI, that was on fire. This control arm, you can see the end link is actually melted inside here. Perfectly fine. Yeah, it is fine. The bushing caught a little bit of it, but nothing serious. We checked it, doesn't move at all, so we're gonna reuse this. And what we're doing now, we are flipping these uh, bush, these uh, the anti-lift. Uh, no, what is this? What do you call these things? I think they call it rear rear bushing for mm. control arm. Yeah, whatever, rear bushing. So we are actually flipping um, them like this. So this is good now, or yeah, this is this is how it was originally, okay. and this is how it's gonna be. Right. So. Let me show you the difference. Actually, we're gonna, I'm going to show you, you wanna right over you here. You want to line them up side by side? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do this. So, the difference will be, you see how this part is, the bushing itself is a little bit more this way. This is already flipped, this is not. So, by flipping it, we're going to give it more caster, because just a tiny bit, you can see where this bushing if this was the middle i would draw a line over here so this is this this line would be it's going to end up like, let's let's flip it now okay just like that and now you can see it brought this part a little bit farther this way so meaning the control arm is going to go out this way because you know because of this uh this because of this being not even not centered right at the bushing yeah that's basically what the anti-lift gives you but anti-lift yeah. anti is it just yeah i do a little bit more i do have the anti-lift kit which is just these bushings with these brackets on my 06 sti and that gives you a little bit more caster brings the whole wheel forward this way so if you look at my 06 sti this tire would be right about here maybe an inch it was like maybe even over an inch uh, a bit more forward and I can show you what it looks like underneath here's that animal that I was talking about before you can actually see I think I saw hair before anyways yeah something happened over here so we're gonna replace the control arms well we're gonna start with this one because we want to make it mobile uh, we got we're gonna reuse the ball joint I think I'm gonna make sure actually that this is still good and we got new actually used from my 06 STI uh, sway bar links and it needs a new inner tie rod and a new outer tie rod you can see how bent up this control arm is let's get cracking all right guys so we are look at these the, these brakes were brand new they're just rusty what we're gonna do we're gonna take every single one of them off and just uh, wire wheel this off the rust brand new pads I what? think I think at the 50,000 you know you, you saw the mark I think they did a lot of uh, maintenance on this car yeah yeah there is a, a suspicious uh, mileage uh, on the in the engine compartment that says 50 Two? 50,000. 50, 50, 50, and, and, right, so. and yeah, right now it's at 54,000. Uh, so yeah, so I guess good news. So uh, this is what it looks like. And we're gonna clean all this and paint.
Okay, so we got a problem. Like always. So the control arm is out, as you can see. And the ball joints are the same, but there is something missing that's built in into the Impreza 2.5 control arm and is not into the 06 or whatever STI control arms, which is this part here where the ball joint goes in. Can you tell the difference? All right, this is what we need, number 17, in between the control arm and the ball joint. Actually, when I was changing my ball joint the other day, on my 06 STI, that's there, I didn't realize that this would not be there on the, on the 2.5. So that's what we need. They're 12 bucks each. We need two. So... <laughs> what? What? What are you gonna come up with? A hag joint. We, we're thinking just to get it, just so we don't okay. do this I, twice. I think that this one will be fine. To block it. From the, from, from, the, from the bottom. From the bottom. And from up top, I'm gonna... So we're gonna we're gonna have take four washers. Uh, one washer is gonna go well. Four washers, you know, two per side. So one washer, one washer, we're gonna drill out. Let me see that big one. This one we're gonna drill out, mm -hmm. so it reaches right about here. Uh, you know, and then uh, the control is gonna go on, and another washer from the bottom, so just to hold it in place, so it doesn't, so the control arm doesn't damage the rubber, or the ball joint. And it doesn't, so I can, we can make it tight so it doesn't move just to get it out the, or out of the garage uh, and then back in. Obviously, we're gonna have to wait a few days for the parts to come in. So that's that. So uh, I'll show you the result. Subframe needs to come off. So we also have to flip the bushing, just turn it around, loosen up this big nut and turn this 180 degrees because this is also different, these, uh, these brackets over here. So if this would hang down because the car is up and you were to tighten up any bushing really, then when the car goes down again, the control arm goes up or actually it stays straight in this car, then that bushing would be under stress all the time. So you need to, whatever bushings you're doing, uh, and you're about to tighten them up, make sure the, the suspension is compressed. One head job done. All we did was drill that out. The only damage we're really doing is we're slightly, slightly scratching the surface of the ball joint, but that's going to be hidden anyway. And there's plenty to go, so not worried about that. So as long as this doesn't, this is tight. I'm not even going to install the carpet. No point for it right now. So only doing this one side for now and finish all this shit up. Clean the rotor over here from rust, put it all together, hit this with some primer or something. And uh, what? Well, we're not, no. We just put a wheel and drive off. Okay. It's cool. Nothing's gonna happen to it. Well, it's gonna start to rust eventually. Nah, we'll be fine. We need a bed liner. Yeah, we're probably going to end up getting uh, some kind of a bed liner. And, uh, and then, then we'll clean it up. And... Yeah, all this. Oh, we, can, we can fix this. Yeah, we can actually fix this. Knock it back to factory. So we got a little rust right over here we can clean too. Okay. Why did you remove the... I don't know. No idea why I removed this. 
just for, for practice. Or for fun. Right? Okay. Yeah. We actually did a little bit of work off camera. We took out the bracket for the ABS pump, gave that a, a few hundred wax, and uh, now the ABS has a home. But there's no bracket, is there? Oh yeah, the bracket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know where the bracket is. I know where you are. It's crap, huh? No, it's in here. The vapor rust. The magic juice. It was a rusty, it was rusty a bit. Like. So now it's easier to clean. It's been in there for a week or so. Look at this. Metal. This was rust before. Now it's metal. Literally just threw that in there. I've had a liquid for quite some time now. It's expensive though. I think a gallon is, is like 20 bucks. I forgot about it and it would probably have to be there for maybe 24 hours or so. And it would have the same effect. So now I'm just gonna, just gonna do a little bit of cleaning, paint it and put it back in. Not new, same same rotor. Still hydra. We got a new problem. Well, an existing problem, but new, new to us. Look here, noticed that this natural, shock tower. Natural camber. Yeah, natural camber right here. I don't know how we didn't notice that before, but this the the tower is bent, bent out. So yeah, we gotta figure that out. Mm -hmm. 